How's it going everyone? It's me, Deus, making another rant video. Now, this rant video is basically me talking about an ability that is kind of very underrated for a Magic Dragonite, that is very powerful for Magic Dragonite. And I'm genuinely surprised that nobody has made a video talking about this before. I've used this ability for a very long time and known about it for a very long time, but I don't see many people abusing it. But the ability I'm talking about is the ability Elemental Susceptibility. That is a morph of weakness to elements in the Destruction Staff skill line. Most Mag DK players that use the ability use the other morph, Elemental Drain, which um, that ability applies minor magic of steel to your target every time you damage them. Whereas uh, Susceptibility, what it does is every six seconds you apply the ability to a target It'll rotate between three elemental status effects, burning, chilled, and concussed status effects. And obviously there is an outlier here, that being the burning status effect. With the DK changes that were made in Deadlands, that made it so that every time you apply burning to a target, you restore 1k magic every half a second. Obviously that makes this ability quite powerful, because you can basically use this and get free magic every every time it rotates between the buffs that it applies. And then what makes this even more broken is the fact that not only do you get that status effect every six seconds, you can reapply it to your target and get that effect in instantly. Even though it says you get it every six seconds, you get it the moment you apply the effect. So you can essentially keep reapplying it to targets and get re-rolling the buffs basically and trying to get a buff that you prefer which in this case you want to get burning so you can just keep spamming it on targets and you can get burning just for free there's no cooldown to it whatsoever you can just spam it and then just get burning over and over and over again which in this case obviously you're going to be getting a lot of magic from it especially if you're the type of player that fights zergs you're going to be getting zerg down and you have all of these effects ticking on your target, which means you can keep getting tons of Magicka from people. Which is why I myself spam it a lot when I play Mag DK. And I'm surprised that not many other people have caught on to this. Now what you're going to see in this video is me proving it firsthand. Now if you look at this target dummy below his uh, health bar buff that I have applied, I'm just spamming it right now and you can see I'm just reapplying the three elemental buffs to this target and it will either refresh the buff or it'll give me an entirely new buff which like I said reinforces the idea that you can just spam this ability on targets and PvP which makes this very broken for mag DK. You can just put this on a zerg that's zerging you down basically and get tons of magic for free while it's ticking on them and this ability lasts for 60 seconds by the way. If they can't purge it for 60 seconds it'll keep reapplying one of those status effects, which means you'll have a high chance of getting burning over and over and over again, and you can spam it, like I said, and like you can see on screen. For this reason, this is why I specifically run Inferno Staff on my back bar. I typically think dual wield front bar is the best for a DPS Dragonite at the moment, but I run Inferno Staff back bar specifically for Mag DK for this reason, and I think. Both Infernal Staff and Ice Staff are probably the best back bars that Mag DK can get right now because you can get an even better block mitigation from Ice Staff and still apply this elemental susceptibility like I do. Or you can go at, I go down the route that I do and use the Infernal Staff back bar. You can still block with stamina and you can still use the ability, which is what I do. So I think Infernal Staff and Ice Staff are probably the best back bars at the moment for a Mag DK. They're quite broken. Like even if you can't use Resto back bar for Radiating Regen, it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, you're just going to be able to spam Coag. And not, and not only that, there's more benefits to it because weakness to elements, the base ability applies major breach to your target, reducing their physical and spell resistance. So you're making them a lot more squishy by applying this ability and you can do it from a distance too. It has a very long range to it. So this is powerful in group play. Like I see a lot of mag DKs switching from engulfing flames over to uh, 
Noxious Breath because Noxious Breath applies Major Breach, you would not even need to do that. You can just keep Engulfing Flames and apply this, have the 10% buff off of Engulfing Flames and have Major Breach at the same time, plus the Concussed status effect and the Chilled status effect at the same time. Like, it's... The ability is just so loaded with so many good things to it. Like, in all honesty, I think Inferno and Ice Staff back bar is very, very, very powerful for a mag DK. And like I said, I'm very surprised that not many people do this, except for myself, I've only seen. Like, it's very, very, very powerful. And there's there's not much that there's not much downside to it really besides not having a reliable heal over time to use but like you could use cinder storm if you want to just drop your cinder storm on the ground for a heal over time or use uh burning embers and then you won't even need like an infernal staff you won't need a sword and board like i think infernal staff and ice staff back bar is just too good at the moment like if i were to compare elemental susceptibility on a mag dk to another ability i'd have to compare it to like the nightblades reaper's mark ability where you have a ranged major breach to your target however the thing is with that ability you can only apply reaper's mark to one target at a time with weakness to elements you can apply that to as many targets as you want there's no cap there's no ability there's no player cap or target cap with a uh, weakness to elements so if I want to, I can apply this ability to 15 people. Like, it's so, so, so powerful. And in all honesty, I don't think there's any reason a mag DK should not run it. I think it's too underrated. Like, um, I don't know. I just think this ability is just so strong and people, way too many people... There's a lot of mag DKs going around, obviously, and there's just so, so many of them sleep on this ability. And I'm surprised and astonished that not many people besides myself are running this, considering how much mag DK there is out there. But, um, yeah, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and, uh, that's about it.